How's life? Today we're going to talk about creativity, that part of our minds that is so interesting. Actually, here we have some representations of creativity. As you can see, creativity and madness are pretty close to each other. And if you have a good look at them, you will see that each and every one of them is absolutely different. Because every person is a unique encounter of experiences, a unique interpretation of life, a unique combination of genes. Everybody is unique, therefore everybody has unique powers for creativity. And sometimes it's quite difficult to get in touch with them, or they feel blocked or whatever. So I'm just going to give you a tip so that you can protect your creativity and start getting the best out of it, okay? How can we do this to make it practical? Pick up a piece of creativity. Let's be creative. Let's go a little crazy. Let's get some fun into the equation. This is the cool dude. He just wants to surf and have a good time. This is the one who appreciates sensations and life and a good time. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get a little bit of idealism. The dreams, the big dreams, the crazy dreams, the fabulous dreams. Let it into the playroom. And now let's take a little bit of the devil who will say, why not blow everything up? What the devil? So we get them together into the playroom, get them to play together, and then we put them back and we ask our lady here, Idealism, to go and visit the judge in our minds and ask the judge, okay, we've been playing this game, or we've built this bridge, or we've painted this picture, what do you think of it? And the judge, which is our common sense, will say something like, I really don't understand anything that you've done here. Or, well, it looks pretty good. Um, if you could just help me understand this bit a little bit more. Or, I think uh, I've seen that before. Or, you know, the judge will give us this common sense, this, this uh, feedback from within ourselves. Also, you can maybe have a, a person close to you that is very, very close and non-judgmental, funny enough that will actually give you a kind judgment. One of those judgments where somebody says, I see what you're doing, okay? You just share it with them. And then with whatever comments this judge has made, who has to be invited, by the way, we go back to the process and we take the creativity and we take the devil and we take the fun and we party again and we play again. And we do this several times and, and our wonderful part of, of Imagination combined with idealism goes back to the judge and back to the group and back to the judge. And finally, when she's perfectly satisfied that we have a kind of common sense combined with madness and innovation, then we finally present it to this part of our personality, Miss Rottenmeier, who is the lady in charge of keeping us in touch with society so that we are not um, ostracized, so that we are not considered completely impossible to live with, so that people don't think we are much too crazy to be close to. And she will give us some feedback on the project too. Now, when all of these guys, including this lady here, are happy about the project, it's ready to be presented in public. And that's when you can start showing large amounts of people or society or whatever your creative process. However, I would like to warn you, please don't let this one or this one into the playroom ever. Because when they get together, they are perfectionists and they paralyze the game and they do not allow you to have fun. Creativity has a large amount of madness and fun, and these two will paralyze your madness and your fun. They must be consulted after the madness happens. They must give it sense after the madness has happened, okay? So that's all for today, and I'll be seeing you next week. Great creativity. Go for it.